welcome to my YouTube channel, Lock Book Petition, and today is another drive-by reviews, but from a different angle. I am currently on an almost three-hour drive to go and see a friend, and I thought I would check in and tell you about the stuff that I've been reading. So, I read um, Dragon Pearl, a part of the Present series. Um, it's book one in the series, and I truly enjoyed that book. It's a middle grade. It is focused on Korean mythology. Um, it was really good to see the fox spirit things that was happening in the book. I remembered that I, somewhere, I don't know where, I saw or heard of fox spirits, but couldn't remember until Nicole from Who Picked This Book pointed it out to me. In the book, I thought that there were multiple different things that is not always discussed in literature, specifically in middle grade novels. So it was really good to read a story that has non-binary characters, that talks about gender in a different way or doesn't, that touches upon grief and how different people can experience it and kinship and what that looks like. So I really appreciate all those different things. I also am currently reading this book called The Bear Fires by Jane Peck. And y'all, it's good. It's about this Chinese American who is a sleuth. There's some sapphic rep in it, but it's not like the the main part of the book. The main part of the book is solving the mystery of why this woman was killed. Um, and the sleuth work for this like multi millionaire um, dating website and it's called matchmaker I think or something adjacent and one of the clients end up dead and she's trying to figure out what happened to this client at the risk of like her livelihood if we're being honest but she's also like obsessed with um, this type of detective story like she read a lot about it so she became like this amateur sleuth I wish that there are going to be more books that is in this person's like um, world, but not really world, but like I want more stuff, like a Nancy Drew of sorts um, from this character. And I don't know if the author is going to do that, but I am really loving the way the mystery is being played out, the inner uh, monologue, and also like the difficulty of being a part of an immigrant family and also being queer and having to like deal with intergenerational trauma and coming out and thinking if you even want to come out um and also those cultural expectations of like having a children having children having a good job being married you know all those different things so i appreciated that I found myself while reading this book and also Dragon Pearl that there were some similarities in them. Um, and I think the similarities were when they were talking about like different types of Zodiac that was mentioned in Dragon Pearl. Um, and that was also mentioned in The Verifiers. I'm also trying to finish Killing in C Sharp. Um, love it! I am loving that book. It's by Alexia or Alexa Gordon. It's book three in the Jessantham series. I'm not going to lie. The name that she gave this series has been very difficult for me to pronounce. And you think that it wouldn't be, but somehow it's just too much going on in, in the letter, in the word. I don't know. I My brain is having a hard time um, understanding it. So, you know, it's in the Just Set Them, I hope I said that right, series, and I'm just really enjoying um, the main character. I'm also enjoying her friend that she sees at the bar, and I'm going to say, like, they're friends now, but you can tell, like, in book one, it was really rough, and he keeps calling her this nickname that infuriates her, so every time he's like, hey, sissy, <laughs> I just get, like, so mad on behalf of her. I just think it's really dope. Um, it's giving cozy mystery. I think that is the point. So I'm really enjoying that part of the book. I also started uh, 
book three of the If You Can series by Christina C. Jones, and it owes me nothing. And it's just it's just giving what needs to be give. And uh, I feel bad even telling y'all about the story because I feel like I might spoil it. But what I will say, it is a story of um, these people who are spies and also working for the United States government on trying to put someone away. And this person does really bad things. And he has really ruined a lot of people's lives. So there's these people are working together. The people whose lives he ruined are working together to kind of take him down. But there um, is also romance that's happening between these people. So that's pretty much <laughs> how I can say it. It's also like some parts of mystery of being like, who is this person trying to figure out what they did, how they did it. I thought that was pretty cool. I'm also reading a Be Love Presents. Um, the the book is called Something in My Heart. And y'all, wow, wow. It owes me nothing. It owes me nothing. It is. I want to say there's some content warnings for miscarriage, abandonment, um, suicidal ideation, and suicide attempt. And I just want y'all to be aware of that. Um those things are like on page the romance in it is so heartwarming that I don't even know how to describe it it's like for you to go through something so traumatic on your body and your mind and to have someone love you in spite of whoo see that's love I just feel often that you know, people start dating someone and then it gets, you know, difficult for them and then they leave them at times that I think you should be one to hold on to each other. But I also understand that a lot of people deal with grief. I'm so sorry you heard this um, radio playing the whole time and I didn't even like think of it. So I don't even know how to edit that out. So y'all just going to hear that radio and then going to have to live that life but I think it's so beautiful to I don't know to just be with someone and know that they care about you romantically right in spite of what you've been through and how you are because the main character our girl is going through it is going through it and you can tell the love interest is like hey hey <laughs> I'm still here for you. So I don't know what has happened. There hasn't been any sexy, sexy parts yet. Um, but I'm loving the story more than anything. I don't even think I need the sexy, sexy parts. Like, the story is, is doing the Lord's work, if you ask me. So that is all the stuff that I've been reading. I hope y'all have a good day. Let me know what y'all reading, how far you are, and whatever books you're reading. It could be like 10 books. I want to know. Um, and these are just all the books I'm reading right now. I talked about one book that I finished. And, you know, I'll update y'all more on the graphic novels and comics um, and other things at a later date. But I didn't want to make this too long. I try to make them less than 10 minutes. Um, except when I was talking to my cousin Dre and that dragged out. Um, so it was his fault. No, I'm just kidding. But that's where I'm at there. So have a good day and talk to y'all later. Bye.